We believe home can be your favorite place on Earth. And because you want to enjoy the outdoors year-round, we've made it our mission at Terra Summer to create outdoor living products that transform your home into a place you'll never want to leave. In this instructional video, we will explain step-by-step step how to install the Terra Louvered Pergola. A few tips before getting started. Work in teams of at least two to three people to install your pergola. Take time to plan your installation. Verify that the pergola is free and clear from obstruction once the blades are opened. Measurements. The overall dimension of the pergola is 10 feet wide by 12 feet 7 8 inches long and 9 feet 5 8 inches high. When deciding where to install the pergola, ensure that the blades can open completely without interferences. For the good functioning of the pergola, it is important that it is fixed on a leveled floor. Preparation. The direction of rotation of your blades is important to determine if you want to be able to protect yourself against sunlight for as long as possible or allow the sunlight to flow in as quickly as possible. If you wish the sunlight to flow in, it is suggested to place the back of your pergola to the north side. A. Determine where the sun is moving during the day to place the pergola. B. Note where the back of the pergola is located. Your blades open at 90 degrees towards the back. 1. Build the front and back arches. A. Mark down where the pergola will sit. B. Lay down the two front legs and the rafter on the ground. Ensure that the inserts on the legs are facing outside the pergola. Put silicone at the end of the rafter as indicated on the image. C. Using A screws, the round head number 10, fix the leg onto the back arch. Repeat step one to create the back arches. Note that both arches are the same. Two, assembling the side rafters. A, with Allen key number six, remove the two B screws at both extremities of both arches. Save the screws for step two C. B, bring up both arches in the approximate position where they should be fixed. While holding the arches, slide in the side rafter from the top. Attention. Position the rafter with the gearbox, ensuring that the gearbox is at the back of the pergola, looking inside of the pergola. This will determine where the back of your pergola will be. C. With the Allen key number 6, tighten B screws back into place, taking the end of the side rafters and sandwich between the washer and the platelets. Repeat step 2 with the second rafter. 3. Fixing the end caps. A. Using your Allen key number 5, loosen D screws already installed on the end cap. B. Using your Allen key number 5, insert and tighten D screws on the remaining holes of the end caps in the four corners. Once all the screws are in, tighten all screws without overforcing them. Repeat step 3 on all corners of the pergola. 4. Control that the pergola is square. A. Measure both diagonals from the inside of the legs. The length of both diagonals shall be square. B. If the diagonals are not equal, it means that the pergola is not square. Using a level, move the legs to make them straight and control the distance again. Repeat these steps until you achieve the same dimensions on all diagonals. 5. Install the first blade. A. Ensure that the blade is in the right direction. Insert the outside screw inside the last plastic clip of the right and left rafters. Press hard until it clips in place. B. Turn the blade so that the side plates have their points looking upwards. 6. Install the tray. A. Unscrew J screws at the end of both side rafters. Keep for step C. B. Towards both extremities of the tray, apply a line of silicone. Slide in the tray. The front loop of the profile should overlap the first blade. C. 
Insert J screws back in both extremities on the rear beam. 7. Assembly of the rolling tube. A. Remove the FUM73 by unscrewing B screw and sliding the FUM73 up. B. At the opposite extremity of the square pin, insert FUM73 inside the maneuvering tube. C. Starting by the gearbox side, align the end of the maneuvering tube with the square pin and insert it inside the gearbox. Lower the entire tube over the tray. D. Ensure that the plate is laying over the last plastic clip that's receiving the blade. E. Screw tightly B screw to keep the FUM73 in place. 8. Install the rest of the blades. A. Ensure that the blades are in the right direction. Insert the outside screw inside the last plastic clip of the right and left rafters. Press hard until it clips in place. B. Turn the blades so that the side plates have their points looking upwards. 9. Attach the maneuvering profile in tube. A. To attach the arm of the maneuvering profile, align the farthest hole of the maneuvering profile with the end of the maneuvering arm's hole. If the hole is not aligned, turn the tube with the manual crank. Using E-screw, F-washer, and G-nuts, attach them together on both sides of the pergola. Secure with the wrench. D. At the end of the maneuvering profile, insert the black plastic end part. 10. Install the maneuvering profile. A. On each end of each blade, insert a white eye washer. Make sure that the washer is inserted from the outside towards the inside. B. Ensuring that the black plastic end of the maneuvering profile is facing the front of the pergola, use the Allen key number 5 to screw an H screw on each end of the blade so that the maneuvering profile is fixed on every blade of the pergola. Attention, do not over tighten. Turn until the screws meet a slight resistance and stop. 11. Fixing the pergola to the ground. A. Place the pergola over the marks previously made on the ground. B. Using the proper fasteners for the type of surface, drill and secure each foot of the pergola. How to use your pergola. To open the blades, insert your manual crank inside the ring and turn counterclockwise. To close the blades, insert your manual crank inside the ring and turn clockwise. We know spending time outside is good for the brain, body and soul. Our goal is to help you create the perfect atmosphere to enjoy your outdoor space in every condition. Whether it's to relax on your own instant getaway or an area to retreat to at the end of the day. Spend more time in your favorite place whenever you like.